Hi everybody, it's Jen from Stitching Social. And today is Saturday, May the 11th. And today I'm here to do another little update on the start that I plan on starting today. However, first I just wanna show you what I finished. I started this on Wednesday, May the 8th, and it's my small, and remember I'm doing um, nine starts and on Wednesday I'll be Wednesday I'll be starting a small project and remember that Saturdays are my larger project so this was considered my small and it's Lizzie Kate land that I love and I've just been loving this pattern for quite a while now and um, I also updated the last video. So this was my third start. So the, for the third vlog video, um, if you go back, if you're interested in the conversion that I did, go back and I've updated the description box. So you don't have to watch the full video again. Just drop down and you can see the colors that I used. I hope that I've listed it. It was hard because I went back to update it on the computer and I couldn't put the symbols in. I was trying to play around with some different ideas. But what I did was I started at, I think I started at the bottom and then just explained everything. It's pretty self-explanatory. And so let's show you what I did. And also for those of you that don't know, I'm Canadian. And so I, um, for this pattern, Lizzie Kate on their website has a really great conversion with a Canadian flag and a banner that goes at the bottom. So I use those two from her website and I use a different charm. Okay, so let me show you what I did because it's, it's different. Here's land that I love and I love how it turned out. I just really love it. This was so much fun to stitch. If you guys have been like on the fence about this chart, don't be on the fence anymore. Go get it because it's so quick. It's This took me two nights to finish it. Super fast. And I've got the Canadian flag there as charted per conversion. And I've used that flag in other charts from Lizzie Kate. And the banner at the bottom and the charm. So I've listed everything. Oh, look at the little sheep. Oh, the sheep and the whisper thread. I'm getting so good at using whisper thread. Tip, little tip, if you're using whisper thread um, and maybe you're not as comfortable with it, don't be scared. I used DMC Ecru, one strand, and then I used the whisper Again, everything is listed in the last vlog, the third vlog video. And um, I did half stitches, you can see there, they're half stitches. And then I used a toothbrush to ruffle them up a little bit. And I even ironed over them and they still look great. So I'm really happy with the sheep and I'm really happy with the Canadian flag. And I'm really happy with the blue house. I really like that color. Where should I put it? There, so you can see both to kind of compare. Yeah, so... It's great. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So, I, I probably will frame this. But I'll frame it myself, and because the charm's raised, I'll just have to... Uh, you know, probably not with the glass, but we'll see. I have no plans to finish this, fully finish it anytime soon. Stitching it was enough, <laughs> for right now at least. I've got my, my plate's kind of full. And I'm filming this at 8 o'clock at night. Yeah, it's almost 8 o'clock at night, so I had a very busy morning. It was actually a beautiful day out, so I got lots of gardening done today. We put mulch in the garden beds. My husband helped a lot with that. Most of, he did most of the work. 
And so the gardens look great. And this Lizzie Kate finish looks great. I guess I'm a little biased, but I love it. So I haven't done any stitching today. So I cannot wait to start and I can't wait to show you what I'm going to start today. My very first prairie moon. So let me get it all set up and spread out on the table and um, I'll show that to you so I can start that tonight. Okay, I'll be right back. Look what I'm starting today. This is what I've got. And I kind of just quickly threw it on the table to <laughs> show you because it's just after eight now. So I want to get stitching it before I lose the lighting. I'm kind of losing my lighting now. So had I had time this morning, I would have filmed it. So look, this is, I'm doing Prairie Moon all around the maple. And that's my chart, the picture. And I've liked this one for a really long time as well. I've liked every, I say that every time. I love this and I've been liking it for a long time. Like, I love this chart. So there's three little girls on the front or little girls or women or whatever. <laughs> and they've got gorgeous dresses on. And everybody here, unless you're brand new and you haven't watched the older videos, not too old, but um, you will know that my sister and I make these videos together. Allison. So, okay, so this is my plan. There's three girls in my family. So I got a sister, Allison, and another sister, Charlotte. So there's three girls in my family and there's three girls on the chart. So I'm changing the hair color and everything um, to match us. So it's going to be three of us. And I've said before, my sis younger sister, Charlotte, she doesn't um, cross stitch, but she has us both and we're dancing around there having a good time. So why not, right? So look at this yummy fabric I'm going to do it on. <gasps> I haven't stitched on something like this in a while. So this is 32 count Lagana Blue Fusion it's called. And I have no idea who it's by. But it's so pretty. The needle workshop that I go to, Gita's in Port Credit, they helped me pick this fabric out. They're so amazing there. I had a really good question on our last video about um, the needle workshops that I go to or have been to or have experience with in my area. Um, I'm in the Hamilton, Ontario, Ontario uh, area. So unfortunately, I don't have anything local, local. I have to at least go an hour. But... Um, I go to Gita's in Port Credit quite a lot. I really like Gita's because, um, well, Catherine, the owner, she's amazing. And I really like that the fabric's on the bolt. I really like that. And that's just kind of where I've been going the last several times. There is a needle workshop in London, Ontario called Stitch It Central. And... They're new to the London area, but they previously had a shop in Ingersoll, Ontario. I wasn't going to go through all of this. It just, it just kind of came to my head. So, sorry, it's kind of shaky. I'm shaking the camera a little bit. But anyways, so there's a shop in London, Ontario called Stitchit Central. And great shop too. I think it's just really cool that we can go into a shop, even if I have to go an hour. You know, I can st I can go walk into a shop and see and touch the fabric and the threads and, you know, do a floss toss and get all set up. Um, there's also a really great shop in Calgary uh, called Traditional Stitches. And they have a, an actual store. I've never been to the actual store. My mom's been to the actual store and she said it's just it's just great. But they have a really, really good website. So it's called Traditional Stitches. And my mom has ordered from Traditional Stitches online several times and great service, quick service. 
very good. You can either call them or do your like whole order online. So if there's if you know exactly what you want, if there's a chart that you're after or a particular thread for Canadians, I recommend contact like contacting traditional stitches. Find their website and they have a really good newsletter too and they always have charts that come on clearance and promotions and so for online shopping, if I know exactly what I want, I would, you know, and like really, I've gone on their website and like totally made a list of things that I want and then, you know, I have to talk myself off the ledge. But anyways, so those are the three recommendations that I have. Gita's Import Credit, Stitch It Central in London, um, and traditional stitches online. Of course, if you just need like a DMC color, Michaels, I've gone to Michaels. I, I personally prefer to buy my DMC from a needle workshop because I've never, yeah, never have I gone into a needle workshop and they've been out of stock of like 310 or another color. I can't always go drive an hour to get DMC. If I'm going, I bring a list. I always have a, you know, a list who doesn't. So I do go to Michael's for some DMC, but I've always been disappointed. Like every time I go, I have a list and, you know, I, they don't have like two or three of the colors that I need. So it's disappointing. But anyways, I'm getting off track here. I don't want to get stitching. So um, I will put that information in the drop down menu. If I don't get to that information in the drop down menu tonight, Keep an eye on it in the next couple of days, and I will try and do it maybe tomorrow, even if I had to have time. But I'll upload the video to this video tonight, so you'll see it on Saturday night. Or whenever you, at your leisure, to watch it. Okay, so let's get back on track. So today, I am starting Prairie Moon all around the maypole. And my threads are not as nicely organized as other videos, but... You know what, I'm not 100% sure what it's going to stitch up to be because um, when I was kidding up this project for Stitch Mania, I did do the floss toss and like wrote down on my working copy what colors I'm using for what symbols. Some of them are chart, they're, they're called for um, all gentle arts and unfortunately I didn't buy all of them because... At the time when I went shopping for this to kit this up, I didn't, it wasn't an option to buy them all. But I have like a huge stash of floss and I just went through what I had. So I did identify on my working copy for me what I'm going to stitch with what symbol. But I'm not confident to share that because it probably will change. So what I will do, just like the last video... I'll put in the drop down menu the pattern information, the floss, but I, it's going to be to be determined for the floss because I prefer to just do it right once. So, and if I end up not using, you know, a color that I've thought I was going to use, because that could totally happen, there's no point in me doing that. So, I am using Pecan by Weeks Dye Works, and I'm using Blue Jeans. See if I can point. Okay, so this is Blue Jeans by Weak Style Works and Corn Flower by Gentle Arts. And I've got Blue Jay by Gentle Arts and Moss Hyacinth. I think that's how you say it. Hyacinth. And I've got Raspberry Parfait. Oh, I just love these names. Sounds like dessert. And Peacock. It, these are in no particular order. I just threw them out. Those were the ones that look kind of pretty. Here I've got, we've got maple syrup. And oh, this color. Oh, I love this one. Classic color work, sun kissed. I've used this in other projects. I love this color. And I'm trying, I think I've used a couple skeins of it. I'm trying to save it. What's the point of saving it, right? Okay, so dark chocolate. I think this is going to be one of the colors of the hair because I've got dark brown hair and so does my other sister, younger one. Allison's got red hair. So sugar plum, which is another really yummy color. And oatmeal. 
I've used this a lot too. I like the Oatmeal by Gentle Arts and Old Brick by Gentle Arts. That's nice. I'm not taking the, I can't take these out of the bags. Like I don't have time for that. Okay. Cadet it says Cadet by Weeks Dye Works. This was in the Bachelor Buttons piece that I stitched. That's a gorgeous color too, isn't it? Uh. I haven't seen one of these colors that I don't like. Like seriously, I love everything. Okay, Weeks Dye Works Lucky. This is another gorgeous color too. Mm. So I don't buy for me. This might be another tangent, but I don't buy floss just because, like specialty floss, over dyed colors. Just because if I if I like a color and I run out of it, I will go and replace it if I like it that much. Um, like for example, I put on my shopping list recently to buy Weeks Dye Works Grits. I really like that color. I used it in the Little House Needlework, um, Spring ABCs and I used it for all the letters going down. So I really like that color. So like I've put that on my list, but I don't, these are all colors that I've either bought in for this project or that I pulled from something else like a, fin a project that I've already finished. So anyways, that's the fabric. Again, 32 count blue fusion. I don't know what needles I'm gonna use. 26 or 28, I'm not sure. Depends how small the holes are because I'm assuming it's shrunken a little bit. Probably, I'll probably just use 26. And my other accoutrement there, yeah. So, I've already decided I'm going to start in the middle of this chart. I just need to fold my piece and, yeah, I'm starting in the middle because then it gives me more opportunities, I feel like, for this piece, for me to, like, work out. I can go down and go to the side. I can go all over the place. So, versus starting in the corner, I don't know. I just decided today I feel like starting in the middle. Okay. Okay. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sure you're all tired too, but I'm sure you're, hopefully you're all stitching and had a great Saturday. Again, Saturday, May the 11th and tomorrow's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, grandmothers, aunts. We all deserve a day. And hopefully you guys, for your special day, you get to fit some stitching in. And we're just having a really quiet weekend for Mother's Day because I'm due in two weeks. Baby's coming and we really just need a quiet day. So I've caught up on groceries, gardening, all the jobs are done. I just need to, I really just need to relax. So yeah, so I'll turn on some Netflix maybe and just stitch for a little bit. And then I'll be going to bed and pick this up again tomorrow. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this fourth vlog video. Which, yeah, my fourth start. So, feels kind of weird to be, like, I finished my Lizzie Kate, but now I feel like, oh, I want to get back to my Brenda Gervais piece. So... It feels kind of weird, but it feels good because I saw in my project bag, I could see the Brenda Gervais piece and it made me smile because I thought, oh, I love you. I want to get back to you soon. Anyways, I bet I'm so tired. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. This is a little bit more longer and rambly. But anyways, have a great Mother's Day, everybody. Great Sunday. Great weekend. And we will see you on Wednesday. Uh, let's see, May the 15th. And that's when I start another small project. That'll be one, two, three. That'll be my fifth. Oh, no, you're going to see me, yeah, on the 15th. That'll be one, two, three, four. That'll be my fifth start. But you won't see me if I had the baby. So, not yet. She hasn't come yet. Soon. Okay, everybody, good night. Bye. See you Wednesday.